So in this training, we, we really learn to, to know ourselves exactly as we are. And uh, we are totally supported to, to, to see that for ourselves. Because a whole lifetime we have learned <coughs> to believe in different ideas about ourselves and actually not testing if it was true. Am I that shy person? Am I that lonely person? Am I that angry person? Am I this, that and the other? We just started to build ideas when in fact we are everything. Right now we can be everything. Right now we can feel completely lonely. Right now we can feel completely confident. Right now we can completely feel so oppressed and so low self-confidence. So we can really, really have a mastery in all of our experiences that is possible for us right here, right now. And in this training we make it so, so simple. We say that you are already innately perfect. Already you have complete wisdom on how to act, how to decide, how to speak, that is the most benefit in each situation. And if you try to think about that right now, we will never figure that out. That expression is completely spontaneous spontaneous and dynamic, unpredictable. But you learn more and more to trust that wisdom as you are. And that makes life so easy. When we don't need to think about how to live our life, but we can simply trust that it is safe to live it as it is. And, and to live it as it is means allowing ourselves to be as we are. So when we have a thought right now that we, we are worth nothing, we hate ourselves, self-hate, internalized oppression, know that that's, that's just normal. <laughs> and, and there isn't anything in that if you don't take it to be something special and something that only you have. To isolate yourself into an identity where only I am feeling lonely. Only I have this self-hate. But in this training you, you, you are actually supported to take short moments of open intelligence. We call that state of your natural perfection for open intelligence. Because it's, it's just a, an innate wisdom and intelligence that knows all of this. And we can sink into that anytime, anywhere. And right now we can do that. You don't need to believe in your ideas about yourself. Instead relax body and mind for short moments and just see that all is fine. You see that a thought is appearing. Where did it come from? I tried so many years to figure out why do I have the thoughts I have? Why do I have the emotions I have? Where is all this coming from? Who can I blame? <laughs> I tried so much energy into that. It didn't give me any answers. Only very short-term, short-lived assurances. <laughs> Until some other idea came and then the other idea was wrong. <laughs> so it's like an endless game. Thoughts and emotions, they come unpredictably. You can never figure that out. And there's nothing wrong with having exactly the thoughts and emotions you have right now. Nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is to think it's wrong. <laughs> so that's what happens. In short moments you just relax with yourself as you are. And that's the greatest gift to give to yourself. That is a short moment. It doesn't require special situations to take a short moment. It just requires your own remembrance of it. To just tap into your innate perfection right now and wherever. And we repeat it. And that's when we really come to see that all these thoughts and emotions in this training, we call it data. <laughs> 
sounds boring maybe, but that's all there is. It's information, sensations, memories from the past, desires, future longings, dreams, things, places, people, relationships, all of this. Dynamic energy, data streaming through you. Do you want to let it just stream through you or do you want to stop it, change it, manipulate it, get rid of it, take short moments to get rid of it? <laughs> you know, it takes a lot of energy to go in there and change all of that. But it requires training to let it stream through you naturally. Because no one showed that to us before, at least no one showed that to me before, that that was safe, to just let it flow. And I can just go on with my life. I can talk to people while things are flowing, streaming. Even if I hate someone, these thoughts and emotions maybe arise in me, I can still be with that person and talk with that person. Before it wasn't possible. But now, when I just relax for short moments in these situations, it's completely possible. But I know it because I've tested it directly, practically in my own life. So you can only borrow trust and inspiration from others that have tested short moments in different situations. That's why we are together, we ask our questions from daily life and we borrow trust from each other. It is so beautiful to do that. So I remember in my life, in the beginning, after I was introduced to, to see myself as open intelligence, to see myself as, wow, it's true actually, I can let all my data be as it is. And I see that they are just dynamic and they don't leave any trace, like a line drawn in water. They are just there and then gone. And they, there isn't anything left until they come again unpredictably. And it, it was really, in the beginning, a time to be gentle on myself and to get used to, to see that this was safe. So when I started to really try to figure out what a short moment is, and I tried to really, oh, it should feel like this, or I should behave like this, or it should, you know, it should be a certain way, I realized that I used my intelligence the old way. I was trying to contrive something. I was trying to look for something. So, so it didn't work. So then I said, okay, holiday time. <laughs> Nina, no more thinking about this. Your whole life you've been tra trained to use your mental activity to think about yourself and think about, think about, think about. Okay, holiday, short moment. I'm not gonna bother anymore. But I'm gonna follow the instruction from the trainers that say, show up to the training. Whenever I listened to a talk, it was equal short moments. Whenever I was reading a text, a book, it was a short moment. Whenever I came to an open meeting, it was a short moment. Whenever I called into a clarity call, it was a short moment. So that was so helpful for me. I was so used to judging myself, self-oppression. I mean, it, it, was, it came here as well. I wanted to, to do this short moment so well. <laughs> So I could, you know, tell that I'm doing so well and I could tell my trainer I was doing so well and but it just got messy. I, I, so I, I'm so happy I had that openness to just, okay, I'm not gonna think about that now. And, and more and more you will see that, that the short moments are actually you seeing yourself as perfect as you are and loving yourself as you are even when feeling the worst afflictions. So the short moments are not for the afflictions to go away but the short moments are there for you to feel completely safe while experiencing your life as it is, also the afflictions. So that is in my own experience, it was a shift there, a gradual shift to see that. Until, you know, now I, you know, if I say I love my afflictions, it, it you know, it, it, I love my depression. It, it's like the, <laughs> the brain, you know, it's, it sounds wrong, you know. But 
it is true for me, but it's true in another way. It's true in the way that I, I so much appreciate the ability to be so intimately connected with myself just as I am. Because I have seen that the more I see myself as I am, the more I can see everyone as they are. And the more I can be of support to other people, the more I can deeply connect and deeply understand others. And that's what we all long for. That is the belonging. That's how we feel so connected to everyone and everything, because we have seen the world through ourselves. So there can be moments where we feel really sad about the past. There can be people in our life that are, you know, they, they had maybe a certain role before and they don't have that anymore. Or we can just see our behaviors or like a whole, all, our whole life on display. I, 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 it can come as anything else randomly, memories. But it is so clear to me now that it is as simple as with any other datum, that that is also just relaxed body and mind, short moments, keeping it simple and just, wow, this is a treasure. All of our relationships that we ever had, all of our memories, all the things we think now we did wrong <laughs> because we didn't rely on open intelligence while we said this, we did that, you know, and we judge ourselves in the past. Not only do we judge ourselves of what we do now, but we also judge ourselves of what we did in the past. But this is the treasure. This is how we can deeply understand people having similar memories, having, having similar life stories. I remember one time Candy said that we are the lucky group to have the mind before and after, to have a mind that is used to reify, a mind that is used to taking things so personal and used to control data. We know how that feels so deeply. That is so much great benefit in that. To know that deeply in ourselves, the pain of isolating ourselves into data and think I'm the only one feeling this. While in fact the whole world is feeling this. So the short moments are opening up our experience from the personalized identity box. <laughs> Just opening it up to see that uh -uh, no, no, no. it's not about you and your data. You are not alone with this data. But it is very, very clear in my own experience that I could never share how I feel about myself and my data today and how, how it just is more and more open and devoted to the benefit of all. Meaning that when I see myself and I see things I hate about myself or I see things that I fear about myself or anything, I know that I, if I let it just flow on by in me, I can support anyone, anywhere, feeling that same emotion, that thinking that same thought, because I've done it myself. That's why no one can take those short moments for us. So in Balanced View we have a support network that we call the Four Mainstays, which is essential to try to figure out how to let your data be as they are by yourself. It is very, very difficult. But to have role models that have taken those steps before you and said that, oh, I tried to, to take short moments when I felt so lonely and I thought I, I was going to die and I thought it wouldn't be possible, but it was possible <laughs> or anything could be any, any example. And the more calls you are on, the more trainings, the more meetings, the more examples, the more support you have. That was my experience and that is my experience. So the four mainstays is basically that we have a global community of, of people that are testing the short moments, are really getting to know ourselves as we truly are as human beings. And we have uh, 
so many trainings. That is another mainstay. You can participate in trainings face to face or online. And we have so many books and videos and online free available so we can make self-study. And uh, the short moments, the one simple instruction is one mainstay. And then uh, we all in balance, we have our own personal trainer. So, so we, we are, I couldn't believe that it was possible to be supported like this today, in the society today. But it is due to all of us, giving that support to each other, in pure gratitude for the support that we have received. When I realized this, I, I think I cried for days. It was so touching that people were so available to support me that only wanted me to flourish in my life, to feel safe in my life, to feel powerful and to see what is my special gift, strengths and talents that I can contribute with. So beautiful. With no hidden agendas of, no, 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 I'm not going to show her what talents because, you know, I want to be better than her and competition and, you know, all the dramas that we are used to. None of it. It is truly, truly precious. It is so touching to, to know that this is possible.